Hey guys, hope you're doing well. I can't find my sunglasses. I'm hoping I left them in Pete's car because they're my prescription ones and they cost me a bit of money. I hope I didn't leave them on a counter somewhere. This is not good. I didn't wear them Sunday. I don't think I wore them yesterday. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay guys, after a bit of panic I found him. I was checking all over Pete's car, in the house. And then I thought, what jacket did I wear? Where have I been? I was just about to retrace all my steps because these are prescriptions, so it's not like I can just go get a new pair of sunglasses. But I found them. They were in my jacket pocket from the other day. All right, I'm going to go get Ashley and I a salad, some coffee. Are those robins? Oh, they've gone now. All this box for Pete. And I'll be home when my song's on. This is the song I was talking about last night. Soon, bye. So good afternoon. I'm eating my salad, watching Steve's vlog. Got my uh, coffee for after. Don't worry, I didn't drink all this. I've had one sip. This was from Sunday. Watching Real Housewives in New York and sitting with a sick girl who stayed home again today. Who I got the wrong drink for. They didn't put a sweetened passion iced tea lemonade. Huh? Oh, I feel bad. And then I got a grumpy down here. I've got my blanket on because my legs are cold. And a Roxy. The only person missing is Pete. Okay, I have to give you a bit of sky. It's five o'clock, but that's it today. Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. It is 8.30. I um, was sat down talking to Ash and Pete. Katie left. Pete came home just before she left. He has a um, one of our friends that was in the band with us for many. I say was in the band with us, like we were all in a rock band. A band parent. Uh, we used to hang out with her a lot at the uh, band competition. She uh, organizes <coughs> a chapter of the Relay for Life walk that's coming up over the summer spring i don't know when it is last year they asked pete to go over and shoot some pictures that they could use on the um cancer website which he did and i guess what they're doing tonight oh they're signing up teens and stuff tonight down the local movie theater so she asked pete if he would come down and do pictures of them so pete came home dropped off a few things and then was going over there to do pictures and went and grabbed himself those sneakers finally. He needed new sneakers from the weekend. He's been trying to go for some, but on Sunday he really wasn't feeling the greatest and he didn't want to make the extra so uh, stuff and try them on. And he did get them today. So he should be home probably around 9 o'clock. Ash did stay home again today, which was good. Um, she's feeling a bit better. She's Her voice was like non-existent this morning, but she has got her voice back this afternoon, although it's very croaky still. And she's still coughing a lot, but um, she is going to go to work tomorrow. But it's so funny because one of her co-workers texted her today and said, are you working tomorrow? And uh, tomorrow morning, and Ash said, yes. And she wrote back, oh, well, so-and-so wants you to come in at 6 a.m. Ashley wrote back, she goes, uh, no, <laughs> I've been sick because li she's literally been on the couch for the last, what, five or six days. She said, I'm not coming in early. She says, I'm going to be taking cold medicine with night stuff in to help me sleep. She says, and I can't get up at 6 a.m., which is true, and I'm glad. Plus, tomorrow's supposed to be another bitter cold day. They told us the temperatures were going to start rising tomorrow, and they fibbed. But by the weekend, it's supposed to be back in the 40s. Yes! Sorry, I have a bit of an itch on my neck. This sweater is the first time I've worn this sweater. Ash and Pete got it me for Christmas, and it's just got a bit of... You can't really tell, but it has a bit of a glimmer. It was from Ann Taylor. She got it for me. And I, when I was cleaning out my closet, was it last week or the week before, I'm like, oh my goodness, I haven't even worn that one yet. It still had the tags on it. So I decided to put it on today. 
But yeah, I did my errands today, didn't have much to do. And then I literally just sat downstairs and talked with Ashley until Katie came. Katie came, and boy, she wasn't happy again. She's been looking at dresses online today for her 21st. It's coming up really quick. And uh, she's got dinner plans. So I said, well, when do I get you that weekend? She goes, Friday and Sunday. <laughs> so, not the actual day. I said, I think I should get the actual day. But I'm so excited for her. She's thrilled. She can't wait to turn 21. I remember 21. I was a nanny. I think I told you this a few weeks ago. But I, my uh, boss had asked me to take the kids out for ice cream. And I'm like, it's my 21st. And then when I got back to the house, friends had planned a surprise party for me. And then we ended up going out and sitting on the beach, listening to other friends play guitars. It was so much fun. Oh, to be young again, eh? So Pete has finished up the one job and he's going to another one tomorrow, so he'll be in Connecticut. He just doesn't stop. He goes from one to the next and he makes sure when he's done with one that he's got something else lined up. He's always busy, that one. So my question today is, did you all have pancakes for dinner? It's Shrove Tuesday in England and it's so funny because I posted on Facebook about um, pancakes and buddies in England and then I saw another post that the IHOP, International House of Pancakes, was doing free pancakes today because now it's... Roxy, I'll help you in a minute. She's trying to jump from the chair onto the bed but my bag's on the chair. But yeah, so I guess IHOP was giving away free pancakes today. But no, I didn't go and no, I haven't had pancakes for dinner. I like the how we had the pancakes, the thin ones, but they call them crepes over here with lemon and sugar. And now it's making my mouth water thinking of lemon and sugar. I would be the only one eating them for dinner, so I didn't make them. I think I'm going to go have a piece of grilled chicken and I have a little bit of my salad left. I think that's going to be my dinner tonight. Tomorrow I have to go out and do a couple more errands. You won't be able to see her. I keep turning this around. Oh, you can see her. She's perched right there. What are you doing, Rox? You trying to get from A to B? You trying to get up on the bed? Do it. Go ahead. Give it a go. So yeah, the most I've done today is laundry, which reminds me I have to go switch the loads. That's exciting, isn't it? But um, I hope everyone had a wonderful Tuesday. If you had pancakes, I hope you really enjoyed them. Again, the mouth's going now because I'm thinking of lemon and sugar. I hope uh, some of you that vlog, I hope you vlogged your pancakes. I know Steve, I know you were saying you got frozen ones because you guys always burn them. I thought that was funny. But the ones you got look like the American style, more like the dollar pancakes because they're thicker over here, aren't they? But usually when I go to IHOP, I get the international breakfast, which is an egg, two links of so a link of sausage, two rashes of bacon, and uh, German crepes and I always enjoy that part because I think of even though they are a bit different but I think of them as the English pancakes so they call them German pancakes. Right, I'm going to love and leave you because I feel like I'm going to go on a ramble. Um, I wanted to make one of the tastefully simple cakes so I might do that. I'll upload this first and then um, while I'm making something to eat maybe I'll mix up a cake and video that because I haven't put anything over there in a while, so that's good. I've had a couple of orders come through on the Taste Free Simple website, so I appreciate it, you guys. Rox, you all right? Are you barking or making weird noises? What are you doing? Yeah, and I set up an open house today. I was like, oh, God, sorry, me, I'm trying to hold the camera up. But I set it up for the 30th. I'm looking at the calendar. Yeah, the 30th of March, because I figured I didn't want to do anything this weekend, obviously, short notice way too short a notice. I didn't want to obviously do it Ashley's birthday weekend so I did it for the weekend after. I wanted to make sure that Easter wasn't coming up right away and that's not until like the 20th of April so I figured I would set up an open house see how it goes because people keep saying they want to try it but it's just trying to get everybody on the same date but I have a couple of people that have said yes so far and I will make up some of the goodies that'd be a good video to do but that's not for a couple of weeks yet. So anyway, everybody, I hope you had a wonderful Tuesday. Have a fantastic night and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.